May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings be free from harm. May all beings love life. May all beings awaken. Welcome to another Guke Audio mini podcast. I pray that you and yours are safe and comfortable, free from economic hardship and able to get out and do whatever it is you want within the limitations of the universal precept of do as little harm as possible. So uh, this is going to be a very brief uh, excerpt from uh, Shunyu Suzuki lecture. Uh, First I will read it, then you will hear him say it, as he did back on May 18th, 1969, hmm, which is his birthday. Uh, and this was um, the um, clip used at the end of Chapter 11 of Crooked Cucumber, The Life and Zen Teaching of Shunju Suzuki. So we should always be equal If you know better than I, you should teach me. If I know something which you don't know, I should teach you. In this way, we should practice our way. So we should be always equal. If you know better than I, you should teach me. If I know something which you don't know, I should teach you. In this way, we should uh, practice our way. That's the chapter called Bowing. Mm -hmm. When he's uh, he's teaching them (laughs) uh, things, what, we have to bow like that? (laughs) You know, and he bowed nine times, had to bow nine times, uh, you know, to the floor, prostrate. His teacher made him because he said he was very stubborn as a youngster monk and didn't like bowing like that. So he said, since you all are having a difficulty with bowing three times, let's, let's do what my master taught me and bow nine times. And he taught them various other things. Uh, They started chanting. Um, A lot of things that uh, people didn't think of as Zen back then. They didn't really think of meditation. You know, they thought of getting, having Satori uh, from uh, an exchange in which a Zen master would whack you or something and then you'd awaken to the ultimate reality in a flash of greatness. And uh, people would ask him uh, if if they could study with him. And he'd say, yes, you know, come join me at five in the morning. Or I think at first it was like 545. Of course, he wouldn't really give them the right time. Wouldn't tell them they had to be there early. Maybe he would sometimes. But Graham Petchy, he told him late. So that Graham arrived late. He, 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 he must, I mean, what did he really pick up that that would be the thing that would give proper British Graham the hardest time, humiliation to arrive late? <laughs> anyway, so that's what we hear at the end of chapter 11. So we should be always equal. If you know better than I, you should teach me. If I know something which you don't know, I should teach you. In this way, we should practice our way. And you know, he that's the way he was. He learned a lot from us. And that is not always true of teachers, especially teachers from where he comes from, where the uh, idea is the teacher is the raishto, the... the uh, the great person who's uh, sort of, they're up high and you're down below and you keep your mouth shut and, you know, learn what they have to teach and you have nothing to teach them. Uh, he was, he was uh, unusual. He wasn't the only uh, Japanese teacher like that, uh, but uh, that was rare. 
Okay. So let's hear it from him. So we should be always equal. You know. If you know better than I, you should teach me. If I know something which you don't know, I should teach you. In this way, we should uh, practice our way. This has been a Cuke Audio Mini Podcast. I'm DC Puba of Cuke Audio and Cuke Archives coming to you from Sleepy Sanur with Dogget Bandita, Felan Cochita, and dear lovely Katrinka. And we're wishing you and yours and all of us a grand awakening. Mm-hmm.